this is Anil with a video tutorial for the learning lad on C programming so in this video tutorial we're gonna see a nested structure in C so this nested structure is nothing but creating variable of one structure inside another one so in this tutorial we're gonna see how we can use this nested structure in our program and how we can access the elements stored in that nested structure so here for the demonstration purpose we have a structured definition called student as a members we have name and roll number then if you, if you want to store the address of student let's say street name house number etc etc what you can do is you can create the variables here as a member of this structure student for example street name in house number etc etc but we can group these two attributes under one name and if if you can do like that then it's going to be easy to write the code and easy to maintain so for that purpose i'm gonna cut this and i'm gonna create another structure here struct let's call it address then a curly braces and a semicolon so here i'm gonna paste that so as a members to this structure address we have the street name then we have the house number so now this address can be used in this structure student to use we have to write struct then uh, uh, the structure name is going to be address then the variable name let's call it let's call it addr so it's similar to creating a variable of the structure just creating the structure variable inside another structure and so now for the demonstration purpose we're gonna create a variable of the structure student and we're gonna initialize it so let's call uh, struct student let's say anil so now we have a variable anil which is of type structure student first we have to uh, as in the name that's why I'm gonna use strcpy function and uh, I'm gonna write uh, the target is gonna be anil dot name and the string value that we want to copy that is anil so now we have to as in this roll number that's why it's gonna be anil dot roll number equal to let's say one two three four next we have to as in the value for the element addr but this addr is a variable of structure address so first we have to access the element addr inside this structure student then we have to access the elements street name and house number inside this structure address for that first we're gonna access this variable addr inside this variable anil so to do that we, ha we have to write anil dot addr is similar to accessing other elements of the structure then we have to access the elements inside this variable addr so since, since this addr is also a structure variable what we can do is we can uh, uh, use a dot operator and access the elements of this variable addr so that's why i'm gonna add another dot here and then we're gonna writing the name of the element that is sn so First we are writing the variable name of the outer structure that is anil then we are writing the uh, element of the uh, nested structure variable that is addr here that's why we are writing addr we can access this addr by using this dot operator then to access the elements of this addr we are going to use another dot operator here so that's why dot as in so if you nest another structure inside this address then you have to use another dot here and then continue to access the element of that uh, nested structure since we are assigning the value to this uh, structure variable of type character array we, we have to use strcpy function that's why it's going to be strcpy and uh, first we have to specify the target and it's going to be anil dot addr anil dot addr dot sn or street name 
the next parameter is going to be the value let's say md road so the last thing we need to do is we have to as in the value for this house number we can access this house number element similarly we access this street name element it's going to be anil dot adr dot hn equal to let's say the house number is going to be 68 so i'm going to save it now we have a structure variable anil and uh, this structure variable anil is also containing another nested structure variable adr and we as in the values for the elements of the structure variable anil so next thing we want to do is we just want to print it out the values we as in it's going to be a printf statement and i'm going to write uh, percentage s for name then add a tab then percentage d for my roll number then add a tab then uh, percentage s for this street name then add a tab then percentage d for you know this uh, house number so next we need to specify the elements it's going to be anil dot uh, name then anil dot roll number then uh, anil dot we need to access this element adr that's why it's going to be adr then we have to access the element inside this adr that is sn that's why another dot operator then sn that's it then to access this house number it's going to be anil dot adr dot hn so i'm going to save it and compile it and run it so as you can see here we got anil that's my name one two three four that's my roll number then uh, the mg road that's the street name and the house number 68 so i'm gonna close it the last thing i want to teach you is if you want to assign to this variable anil when you declare it here using the curly braces what you can do is uh, use this assignment operator then the curly braces then as in the values for these elements first we need to assign the value for name it's going to be anil and add a comma then we need to assign the value for roll number let's say one two three four add a comma so we need to assign the value for street name let's say mg road just think that you know this uh, street name and house number are the elements of this structure variable student and as in it don't think about the nested structure and all those things here then we need to assign the value for house number it's going to be 68 so i think this one is the easiest method you know uh, instead of writing the two dot operator it may be confusing so i'm going to save it compile it and run it so as you can see here we got anil 1234 mg road and house, num house number 68 so this is it this is about the nested structures in c uh, you can nest as many structures you want so thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe like my facebook page at facebook.com slash learning and i see you in the next tutorial